Is it time to buy or sell Oracle stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Oracle. Our initial report was published on our website on Monday, September 11, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get a free price predictions and deep analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since August 25, 2023, our system has ranked Oracle as a buy candidate, giving it a score of 4.99. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. The stock has seen a gain of 9.18%. This translates to an average return of 0.83% per day since it was listed as by candidate. The stock is at the upper part of a wide and horizontal trend and normally this may pose a good selling opportunity but a breakup through the top trend line at $127.21 will give a strong buy signal and a trend shift could be expected. The current three-month trend suggests a potential 0.546% change over the next three months, with a possible return between minus 10.31% and 0.94%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a 69.69% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between 54.54% and 87.66%. This translates to a price range of $195.82 to $237.79 after a year. Our latest daily update for Oracle includes the headline, Oracle stock price up 0.309% on Monday. The Oracle stock price gained 0.309% on the last trading day, Monday, September 11, 2023, rising from $126.32 to $126.71. It has now gained six days in a row. It is not often that stocks manage to gain so many days in a row, and falls for a day or two should be expected. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 2.16% from a day low at $124.72 to a day high of $127.42. The price has risen in 9 of the last 10 days and is up by 9.18% over the past 2 weeks. Volume has increased on the last day along with the price, which is a positive technical sign, and, in total, 8 million more shares were traded than the day before. In total, 18 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $2.30 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $127.54, and the lowest price was $60.78. Currently, the price is 0.65%, or 83 cents, below the 52-week high of $127.54, which is also the all-time high for stock. Analyst Ratings On Monday, September 11, 2023, it was reported that Morgan Stanley gave Oracle a equal weight grade with a hold action. On Monday, September 11, 2023, it was reported that Piper Sandler gave Oracle a overweight grade with a hold action. On Monday, September 11, 2023, it was reported that Jeffries gave Oracle a buy grade with a hold action. On Tuesday, September 5, 2023, it was reported that Barclays gave Oracle a overweight grade with a upgrade action. On Monday, August 28, 2023, it was reported that UBS gave Oracle a buy grade with a upgrade action. Analysts have given Oracle stock a general neutral rating. They rate the PE ratio as strong sell and price to book as strong sell. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been identified for Oracle. Mostly positive signals in the chart today. The Oracle stock holds by signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a positive forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general buy signal from the relation between the two signals where the short-term average is above the long-term average. 
On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at $123.96 and $117.72. A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Thursday, August 24, 2023, and so far it has risen 12.22%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Volume is rising along with the price. This is considered to be a good technical signal. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, buy signal. Pivots, buy signal 12 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal 1 day ago. Short-term moving average, sell signal 13 days ago. Long-term moving average, buy signal 11 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 10 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, sell signal 13 days ago. The long-term moving average, sell signal 125 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 210 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Oracle Oracle finds support from accumulated volume at $126.55 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved $2.70 between high and low, or 2.16%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 2.17%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Oracle, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per-share earnings. This is a relatively normal P-E ratio, often seen in businesses with long track records or predictable revenues. In other news, the next earnings report for Q3 2023 is expected on Deck 12, 2023. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Oracle. There's no significant resistance from accumulated volume above, which means the stock could move upward swiftly under the right conditions. In this case, you might want to enter a position and use volume to determine when to exit. On the downside, Oracle encounters its first support level at $126.55. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Oracle from multiple analyst sources is neutral. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On September 5, 2023, Smith Maria conducted an insider buy of 12,500 shares of common stock. On September 5, 2023, Smith Maria conducted an insider sell of 6,500 shares of common stock. On September 5, 2023, Smith Maria conducted an insider sell of 12,500 shares of restricted stock unit. On August 4, 2023, Screven Edward conducted an insider buy of 50,000 shares of common stock. On August 4, 2023, Screven Edward conducted an insider sell of 24,790 shares of common stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be negative with a ratio of minus 24.351. Overall, Insiders purchased 9,581,647 shares and sold 15,941,240 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $122.22, minus 3.54%. This stock has medium daily movements and this gives medium risk. There is a buy signal from a pivot bottom found 11 days ago. Is Oracle stock a good buy?
Several short-term signals are positive and we conclude that the current level may hold a buying opportunity, as there is a fair chance for Oracle stock to perform well in the short-term period. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Tuesday, September 12, we expect Oracle to open down $0.428 and start trading at $126.28. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.